Okay, so a lot of people uh, claim that people that are displaced don't want to work or they're displaced because they don't work. But here you are, uh, you have a bicycle workshop going on in the back here under the freeway pass. Can you tell me how did this start and why are you doing this? Well, most of it, the economic is pretty rough. People don't want to hire nobody. You got to know somebody that's working in the company to get you in. In fact, if they'll get you. But see, as you can see, they're really honest, hardworking people. Most of them are undocumented. So it's real, real hard. Me, that I'm a U.S. citizen, it's hard to get a job, even in an agency. They say, we'll call you if anything comes along. So we have to do something to, to, to get something in our stomachs to eat, to have something in our pockets. Most of the, most of the people are married. You know, they're, they're working. They're not out there stealing. You know, they come, they repair bikes, uh, just to have something to eat for the next day. A lot of people judge us by being homeless. They see us and they want to walk around us, look at us like we're some kind of insect or roach. But they don't know this. They gotta know this. A simple hello, you can't even get a simple hello. We're not thinking that you just gonna rob them or, or want something. We don't want nothing, we just want humanity to be like it was. Everybody used to say, hey, hello, how you doing? And go about your business. But now, hey, we have to work hard, real hard. What, what are the people that come and give you bicycles to repair? Do they trust you? Well, first they come and see, and they say, oh, well, how much this, how much that, or well, how much for the bike, or oh, oh, to. Most of them is a uh, fix of flex. But people do come and buy. They come parts, they bring bikes to fix, to change, the, the handlebars, the, the brakes. And, and, you know, we don't charge much, we just want to eat. We want to survive. Yeah, I but, think I think people want to see you working, so they'll give you work. They'll bring your bi their bicycles uh, to work here. See, and we make the most of it. We, we build our own little home right here. This is our domain. This is our, our, our oasis. You know, and and, and this, the city still come and take everything away. They took all the bikes, the cars, rims, not too long ago. So we had to start from scratch. I can I can tell that you're educated because you're very eloquent when you speak. Yes, I, I actually I have a PhD in psychology. Uh, you know, a bachelor's in sociology. I'm also a cosmetologist, a cook, and you know, I'm a, I'm a lot. I'm very well, educated. Even then, I can't even get a job. The city of LA said, uh, I think at the beginning of last year, that they were going to spend millions of dollars helping people that are displaced. What do you think about that? Well, honestly, where's the money? They do come and sweep everything but take what we need to survive. Now, it goes all to the law enforcement, the cameras, the, the, the good cars, and now they got chargers, they got water explorers. You know, what else? All the money's going to that. Really, a lot of people go out of their way to really feed the homeless, they drive around, they bring sandwiches, they bring soup. Now, those are the good people. What happened to all the, the, all the people that used to be like that? Now it's like, they come, judge, even spit at us, Look at us, throw water at us, even give us a bird. Instead of saying, hello, you guys doing okay? That's not what we want. It's just a simple hello. 